A beachfront Airbnb property. What's up, guys, and welcome back to House Flipper. Today, we take on this green beauty. Dr. David here. I need some help with changing the upstairs floor plan in my summer house. Bring down some walls, divide it into three bedrooms, paint the walls, finish the floors, buy furniture, that sort of thing. You might notice I've done some work on the house already. I thought I would finish it on my own. Could only go there on the weekends. My plans turned out to be too ambitious. Since I don't spend too much time in the house, I want to prepare it to be rented out to tourists but I'd like to move in there after I retire, so please make sure to deliver quality that will last me years. I'm counting on you, Dr. David Hoffman. Finishing a project for Dr. Dave. Look at this. All the turquoise accents, all the wood and the rope and everything, the white shiplap. All right, this is a beautiful beachfront bungalow. Let's see what we've got going on back here again with the blue everything looks super super nice we've got kind of an aquamarine turquoise and then kind of a, a lighter blue going on here looking pretty good now he said upstairs is where we have most of our work and yeah we're gonna fix this up so the bottom floor is is good to go ready to rent out ready to be his retirement home but uh, upstairs we're gonna fix some stuff bathrooms good to go but uh, we have three bedrooms we want to work on here this is going to be the first and then i'm assuming we're going to knock down some walls here and turn these into a couple other bedrooms bring in some money be able to retire to it it's a great idea appreciate it doc and uh, here we go so let's see what we're going to take down we have not used our demolition tools yet so we're going to see how this works all right so we're gonna take all that down there we also have the building tool now which we didn't have before so gonna be kind of cool but uh, let's start by picking up all of the trash through here that we can oh our garbage can is uh is closed we're gonna have to fix that get this guy open let's see how we can do here we go uh oh my goodness dude that was a, a swish right there gotta love that and one final one here money all right continue picking up all the the trash that we can definitely gonna want to sell all this old busted furniture i'm assuming this is the stuff that he was working on so we're not gonna mess with that we're gonna get everything cleaned up and then we can start getting some of the materials down and finish up this first room here get the windows done look at this view here dude my goodness what a retirement plan huh you gotta love this so he's gonna make a bunch of money while he's working as a doctor and then he's going to end up retiring to this. And he's just going to whisk off into the sunset looking over the private islands out there. All right. So I think we're, I guess, a little bit more cleaning here. And we've got a little bit behind the door. But I think we're good to start putting some stuff down. Right after a quick vacuum, of course. Can't forget the vacuum. And it looks like we've got a stain in the floor as well. So we can clean that up real quick. There's a couple more stains that we didn't see before. There's one more stain left to take care of underneath the window. All right. So room is clean. Let's see what we're going to be doing in here. So first of all, the neutral wood oak panels. I'm assuming... We can just put these down. Are these the same ones? Yep. So this is a project that he started, obviously. As a doctor, he's probably pretty busy. So we're going to be able to finish this up for him, no problem. He's just casually out here saving lives and doing the things that he does. So we're going to let him do what he's good at. And we're going to take care of his life here at home. Beautiful. It's got a vibrant blue paint as well as a white grayscale paint. Let me see what we did ah that's what he was going with okay you see how he has the white with like traces of blue around i really like how he did the trace around the sink too that's kind of a cool little feature i don't know if i've seen that too much before i think we're gonna mostly paint white through here we could honestly probably just paint everything white and then we'll we'll figure out if we want to do some sort of a cool blue accent anywhere we could do an accent wall but i i kind of like the way he did the the little accent lines get all these walls here i feel like we have to be getting close to an upgrade of our paint we just run out of paint so quickly we can even paint this wall right here in one go you, you gotta refill twice to be able to get that eventually we should have an upgrade to our painting a bit look at that you can't get i mean honestly in real life it would it would take you a few refills so it could be worse but like something like this this is gonna be rough we gotta do this whole thing here and when you have stuff to go around, like these windows, you got to backtrack on yourself. It just really slows you down. Sometimes it's better to go with the single. And when you have the, the big areas, that's when you go with the, the triple across. 
and then down to the single to go back across so we don't waste any paint. Last wall here, finish this out. All right, so how tall are we talking with this? It looks, I mean, that's just on the staircase. There's nowhere else that does that. I'm thinking kind of like maybe this height. Let me try a stripe here and see. Okay, so it's a slightly different color of paint. Do we want to go, I mean, I think accent wall here with the bed tucked in there and then maybe the the blue stripe around. I actually think that'll look pretty nice. I haven't done stripes like this before, but we'll make this the first one. This is kind of a fun little beach house. You don't want to take it too seriously. So we'll go for it and see how it all works out. Also, we can't forget these window cells here. We got the exposed brick. Gonna get that all taken care of. We want to get our little blue stripes in there too we're gonna carry it across the windows no small detail unturned here so we can just do like a little spritz there that's what i'm talking about so i think this whole wall here should be our accent wall and you know what i've got an idea for that so let's continue this blue all the way around first all right just like that and then we could take the white and we'll continue the white through the the blue to give it kind of a contrast there. Let's get rid of all of our tools here. Not gonna need these anymore. Can I get rid of those? No, so I'm going to, you can't even put those away. I'm at least gonna like move them into the closet, I guess. Get those taken care of. I also noticed this thing, I didn't like that. I wanna get that kind of at an angle out here, looking out over the view. So let's see what we've got going on. We are gonna have, ooh, I like this. Okay, so we've got one of those. We've got a dresser, we've got a bed, we've got a little decoration, we've got nightstands, poofs. All right, let's start with the bed here. What colors are furniture downstairs? Are we going with a lighter or a darker? Looks like we've got kind of a, a lighter vibe going on. We've got the bedroom in here. Light natural wood with some turquoise linens. Maybe something like this. That doesn't look too bad, so we can get this tucked away in there. We've got our ceiling lamp. Now where, is this gonna take over for this? Can we get rid of this? We can, all right, that's what I'm talking about. So we're gonna put this new ceiling lamp in here. All right, so we've got a, a rope ceiling lamp. Let's see what else we have going on. Couple of end tables, probably wanna have these match the bet. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to fit two of them. Definitely not gonna be able to fit two. Interesting, where else would you put this bed? Could you put it like, like that? I mean, you could, but. I don't think that would look good. I'm going to put this in the, uh, the, the closet for now, just so we have it. So it's happy with it. But I honestly think we need to go for something different. I don't know if we're going to be able to find a nightstand that fits in there. I mean, any of these, oh, there you go. Okay. Can we change the top part here? I mean, this is probably the, the best option. So we're going to go with that and let's, let's just put those in the corners and not really look at them because they don't look great, but it's better than what we had. Everything's centered and off the grid here. So we got a little bit of space there, a little bit of space there. All right, looking pretty good. We've got a wardrobe we can center with this wall over here. I chose white, but it's got a bit of a blue hue to it. Honestly, not the worst thing in the world. We've got another little wheel thing here that matches all the stuff downstairs. Let's buy two of these. We could put these on the nightstands. We can have those opposite of each other. We've got, oh, okay, more more things. I feel like we don't really have the space for this stuff. I'm just gonna put it right there for now. We've got a TV we can mount on the wall. I'm gonna put there for now. We've got this guy. I'm gonna go with our, our white wood vibe that we have going on, I guess. Wow, they really want a lot of stuff in a small room. Can I put this nightstand inside here? Oh, that would have been nice. I genuinely don't know where we're gonna fit all this stuff. Like, where would this go? This has to be across from the bed and the TV would be on the wall. So that means this would be, I guess, in the closet. I mean, we could put it like that. So we're just gonna block everything else. We could put this here, put the TV over top of that and then put this in the corner. It, it, there's just a lot of stuff for, where would you put this? What's the point of this? You want me, this is like a footer for the bed. Get the fish matched up. All right. Well, there's a lot of furniture in a really small room, but I guess that's what we got. If I move this out here, will that work? Then it's going to want it in here. Interesting. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to leave it here 
and that room is uh, is complete. Getting in here, let's just go ahead and sell everything that we can possibly sell. Toilet sinks, all of the above, all the extra bricks and everything. We're also gonna grab some trash bags. We're gonna pick up all the trash. Looks like we've got a lot of stuff we're gonna have to end up scrubbing as well. Get all the stains picked up here on the floors, on the walls, on the windows. Bro, really bought a fixer upper, but that's all right because it's starting to look pretty good. One last bag of trash to Kobe. And we've got a little bit we need to vacuum up. So now we get to get into building walls. We've never done this before. I'm assuming all of this is... Oh no, just this is coming out. All right, so... Let's go ahead and use these muscles we've been working on. You gotta do the whole animation. If you just click it, nothing happens. If you hold it to here, nothing happens. You gotta do the whole thing until they turn white. Put a little bit of back into it. This is a good workout for sure. This would be fun. I've never used a sledgehammer like this. All right, so we've got a bunch of trash now, but it looks like that just kind of disappears over time. Okay, so what are we working with here? It looks like we've got a bunch of stuff we're gonna buy and sell. It wants us to get rid of the old light. It also wants to get rid of the old light switch. Oh, we're getting rid of this as well. All right, here we go. Another wall needs to go. Got a demolition perk point. Let's see what we're looking. Oh, we have a painting perk point. I'm gonna say paint saver. Roller uses less paint. That's a really big upgrade. We're gonna do heavy lifting and strongman for tiles demolishing. Hammer destroys more blocks with one swing or quick and precise. I'm gonna go quicker. It, I guess it's a little bit quicker, not really all that much. I think the other one would have been better, but that's all right. So we are gonna take this one big open area here and we are gonna turn this into two rooms. If we switch over to our uh, building, ah, right down the middle. I don't know how this works. Oh, we go there. And then we go across and you hold to build. We've got to put down the cement in between each one and then every row of bricks. Dude, this is sick. So we're going 11 feet, four inches by nine feet, four inches tall. This is pretty cool. The animations in this game are so much better than the first. Everything really has been upgraded. One thing I do miss is that we don't get the before and afters anymore. Like I, I feel like that's a, a pretty big miss. I don't know how we don't have that in this game, but everything else looks really good. So now we've got two rooms, good bones here, but we've got to make things look a little bit better. Out front of the rooms, we're going to go with some grayscale paint. We've got our new, more efficient brush as well, which is exciting. So we should be able to take care of an entire wall in one fell swoop. That's what I'm talking about. Get this side above the door, this side above the door. I'm assuming we're gonna end up using this white in the room, so we'll put that there. We also wanna have a shelf. Looks like it's already got the blue color on there, so I think that looks like a pretty good height. We've got a mirror. Might wanna end up dropping this a little bit, and then we've got shell garland. Interesting, I'm gonna put that like maybe Maybe there? I'm gonna drop the, the shelf a little bit. We could drop the mirror a little bit and then maybe put some sort of a little, so like a little shell decoration or something. Ooh, I like the, the compass for a beach house. We've got alarms. We've got candles. We could put little, little candles on each side just to give it a little bit more. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna drop this just a little bit. Okay, gonna be going with these ceiling lamps again. So let's put this in the center of the room and we can turn that on. I'm assuming we're gonna be going with the same thing over here on the other side. Ooh, what happened to the ceiling? Is that cleanable? It is, all right. He wants wood along the wall and the floor. Okay, this is kind of a fun little, little project he's got going on here. We've gotta have a, a better way to lay tile like this or I guess it's, it's paneling, it's not tile, but you guys know what I mean. Like bigger than a three by three square, but maybe not. All right, so we're continuing the same material as outside. Honestly, this looks really, really good with it morphing into each other. So I'm gonna paint everything white to start off and then we'll figure out if we wanna do any sort of a bonus wall or line or anything that we did before. But let's just get kind of a, a baseline here with our first coat. Up the door here, one last little refill. Should be able to take care of this wall. Just gotta be smart about not going back over an area that you painted too much and uh, bam, look at that. All right, so we've got white everywhere. We've got the the wood walls honestly the straight white looks good i mean we could 
try to do a similar thing? Do we want to keep that vibe going? I guess it's a, a nice vibe. Looks to be right about eye level for us. So I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, this is a bit more green than, than what we had before. Last wall here. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So we are done with the paint in this room. I'm assuming we might need more of it. So I'm just going to move it over here before we sell it. I don't know if we're going to go with the same vibe for both or what, but uh, let's see what we have. So we're going to go with a new light switch. I would think probably put that right there. We've got a bed. We've got a table. We've got a, a little ore for the wall. We could probably put that on the wall to start off. Got a flower pot we're going to go with so we can put the flowers down for now. We've got a little shelf we can put on the wall. I'm just going to throw things down. Do we want to change the color here maybe go with a bit more of a blue all right that doesn't look terrible we'll put that down there we're probably done with that but we actually might be using it over here so we'll put that over there like this five for the bed here so we can i'm just gonna put that down for now we'll reorganize when we're ready for it we've got some lamps here definitely gonna be going with a slightly different color stick with the blue that we've got going on so we could probably throw two of those up there we've got a little wardrobe i don't mind this color a lot of of wood in here having the wood come in go up the wall and then all of our furniture is wood but it doesn't look terrible everything matches everything looks good okay we gotta figure out how we're gonna organize all this because this is not good desk is definitely gonna go under the window so we could put that there we could put the chair and the desk obviously that's the easiest part now the bed I guess we're gonna put like that. A lot of small spaces happening in this house. We're gonna be okay though. We've got this empty wall over here. We could potentially put that against. I don't love that though. It doesn't even fit on this wall because you've got the ceiling that comes down. We could put the bed there and maybe move the desk over a little bit. Then it wouldn't be centered with the window, but we'd have a bit more space for these guys i just don't i feel like this needs to go against this wall i guess this could go against over here because it's short enough dude this sucks i guess it is an airbnb so it doesn't have to be the the fanciest thing in the world but like i just i don't i don't love what we've got going on here got the live laugh love above the bed i guess all right you know it's it's just kind of a, a weird thing center the plants a little bit better we could Put the plant on the little thing here. I don't think we needed two of the, the lamps, so we're just going to get rid of one of those. Move the desk a little bit. It's not going to be centered with the window, but at least it's not going to be butt up against the bed. All right. Um, I I mean, there's just a lot happening here. Maybe we center this. There, there's just too many, too many things in too small of a space. We could have this against the wall over here. <laughs> Dude, I don't... I don't know. This is a weird space, but... It's done. So this is kind of the, the blue room. And then it looks like over here, we've got the yellow room happening. We're going to put some vibrant yellow paint down. We're going to mainly do white, but we'll do the, the accent of yellow. So let's get the walls painted here. Last bit of yellow here. All right. That's going to do it for paint. Now it looks like we're going to... Oh, I just shouldn't have sold that. That's fine. Looks like we're going to continue the wood in like we did before. So we can grab this and we're gonna throw this all over the floor and the wall continuing the floor paneling up the side of the wall is definitely interesting honestly i like it it's not something i've seen a whole lot of but uh, it's a pretty cool vibe that's for sure so especially for a, a beach house makes you think you know washed up driftwood that sort of thing natural from the earth the ocean just pounding away for millions of years and we've got some wood to build a house with so go ahead and finish this up cover up that old stuff there and uh all right this room is ready for furniture we've got the yellow and the blue room so let's see ah i see what we're doing here i actually think it wanted us to go with a, a different color on these so if i select the bed it automatically has the yellow here i was kind of confused what it was going with but now i see it so now we can put the the yellow in here let's get rid of this it does want two of these so i guess we could put one on each side of the desk there. Is there anything else? No. Okay, so it, it wanted yellow accessories with blue paint in here. And then in here, it wants yellow paint 
with blue accessories and I'm assuming we're just going to do the exact same on both sides. So we'll put that there. We've got a ooh, white for the desk. Interesting. Blue chair to match the bedspread. Yeah, this is starting to make a lot more sense. We're going to have the same little lamps. Got a blue light switch for the yellow room. Looks good. Now it does look like this one has some slightly different furniture, which I think I might like better. So we're going to put this on this wall of course we're gonna have the the big guy over here now where do we have that in the other room we had it kind of against the wall but not fully pretty much that same exact spot right there it looks like we've got a lot more plants here we've got this little planter which i like better than what we had over yonder so we could put this guy in there we can put this guy in there we could put this guy and last but not least we can put this guy and then we've got a, uh, a little wheel. I actually really like this wheel. The, the black in there looks pretty cool. So we've got that. We've got a little fish wall thing maybe put up there. And then we've got a blue rug. So we've got our, our yellow and blue room. And then we've got our blue and yellow room. And then we've got this room over here, which is all blue. It's kind of the, the master area. Oh, we've got another one of these that we want to put up. I'm going to say let's put these like here and here. All right, that looks pretty good. So I, I think we're all good to go. Three stars on everything. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful home to Airbnb. This is going to fetch a fat price for sure. I'm sure he makes a great salary at his doctor job, but uh, he might end up making even more from this. And he's going to have a beautiful retirement home ahead of him. So let's go ahead and finish this up. $42,000 for that bro let's work for more doctors that's more than we made for our last full renovation we bought a house completely gutted it it took us hours redid everything in there and we made like 20k so there you guys have it. i hope you guys enjoyed beautiful new investment property is complete i'm gonna see you guys in our next episode of house flipper love this game man thanks for joining me guys peace out